She's a beauty, right? This was such an amazing boat. My first schooner, and she had a very interesting previous owner. I am curious about the history of it, General Patton's boat. Yeah, for well, real. For real, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, was, she was built 1939. He he ordered her built after he sailed a smaller schooner from LA to Hawaii, and he fell in love with the schooner. Yeah. It was an all. It was a John Alden schooner. <laughs> we have an airport here. We, have, an airport right there. <laughs> we have a flyover that we called in special for. That's right. A boat so special we called in a flyby. We found this boat after Philip and I sailed from Cuba back to Key West, a voyage and journey we will share with you next time. It is an unforgettable little party down. But you get a personal tour here of a 1939 John Alden schooner, and we'll take her out on the water and show you what she can really do. <laughs> anyway, welcome aboard. Let's take a look. Thank you, thank you. designed ocean cruisers nice. for for families and also he was big into racing so he he had to design them fast yeah he, he always he designed the malabars and uh 13 of them and each malabar was his personal boat after it was built right and then he would race it to bermuda and, oh, then, and then sell, sell it, it afterwards and he usually <laughs> would it. win sure and uh so anyway so when and if is probably my my fifth alden schooner that i've ever that really? I've captained. Wow. And I've Captain Fife's and Harishoff's and but they're, they're, the they're all they're all great. They're all fast boats, but in Alden there's something about it. It's very sea kindly. Yeah. But exactly. anyway, so Patton sailed to Hawaii and uh, very cool. when he when he got back he uh, wanted wanted a boat built for his family. Yeah. He wanted it a little bit bigger, so so this is on the bigger end of uh, of Alden's boats, but uh, Patton ordered this one built. And then halfway through the building, uh, he got his papers that he was going to, you know, prepare to, to for war, which was still a couple years off. Right. But uh, uh, he mentioned it to the builders, and the builders said, "Well, what do you want us to do? Do you want us to keep building it?" All right. And he said, uh, "Yeah, keep keep keep, keep building it. it Full and steam name, ahead. Name it when and if, when wow. the war's over, and if I return." Oh my God, uh, that's so great. His intentions were to sail around the world. And, Although he did get to sail the boat, and he took delivery of it, and he got to sail it before he went to war, he never did get to come back and, do and the sail whole world around cruise. the world. So we're actually, you know, what, 79 years later, uh, Man, we've, same we've boat. been working for two years, leasing the boat and trying to buy the boat, yeah, uh, and then sail it around the world. Well, we just bought it, and uh, and now we're, we have her open to the public for her first time in her history, so that we can raise money and awareness and support yeah. well that's what we're here for that's what we're here for we want <laughs> and, uh, to want to spread the word and then we can sail this thing around the world hopefully with as many people watching and yeah they can see it go can. great uh, anyway <laughs> welcome aboard let's take a look thank you thank you god the decks are just gorgeous did y'all have to do re any oh any this is all new deck yeah. i figured On the deck, we rebuilt the whole back end of the boat. It, the schooner, the second mast is either the same size or taller than the first mast. Okay. And this one's taller. And then this sail here is actually a Marconi uh, main okay. and a gaff four. So it's kind of got the best of both worlds. She's still good. Uh, for sailing downwind with the with the gaff sail. Nice. Uh, but the main, the Marconi main, helps her point better into the wind. Okay. So she actually points pretty well for a scooter. 
What makes it a Marconi main? Like what uh, specific? That's a triangle okay. sail. One one halyard at the top. Nice. And this one has two halyards at the top. So what, uh, when you run it offshore, what, what, uh, how many crew are you usually comfortable going with? I like six. I okay. Like to go with six. Vision, look at this workbench you got to see. Is this yeah. a real workbench? Yeah. Is that what That's that is? Original. Yeah. Well, it actually used to be the bread, uh, bread, yeah, bread making table. The bread making table? Yeah. <laughs> it's original. Do you have any batteries, solar, that kind of stuff? Are you set up to be offshore for a yeah, while? Yeah, we have batteries. We don't have solar. Yeah. You know, it's all engine driven yeah. to charge the boat. But, uh, you know, ultimately when we sail, when we sail around the world, we certainly have yeah. that set up. This is uh, the, oh, the fridge here. half cabin and uh, Jonathan's cabin as well. <laughs> We're sneaking in here. Yeah. <laughs> He's making it up. Look at that. Yeah. Um, what kind of engine does it have? Uh, 110 horsepower lugger. <laughs> lugger. Yeah. <laughs> lugger. So yeah, lugger. That, that was Patton's cabin, and then we have a head and shower in here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. So, what's the one thing on the boat that just drives you insane? That you're like, I hate the way this is. <laughs> Oh, this damn pump leaks like crazy. It's, I heard you're using it. Do you well, pull it? Yeah, you pull it up. It's it's heavy, and we have to tighten it a lot. And it and it's it, it, it's original. I can see. And see, it. and it, it likes to oh, leak. Oh man. Oh no. So this this original pump drives me nuts. <laughs> the original we, pump. It's great that it's original, but it's so it's you know it's 79 years old, and yeah. and so it's worn out. It's not a perfect circle in the chamber, and so therefore the packing doesn't Never work really perfectly yeah. you know sure. it's, it's gonna leak unless we make a new one and where are you gonna find a new one yeah <laughs> so you just have to change it and you either change it to an electric pump that or <laughs> you know one of those foot pedal things yeah that's what we have or you yeah. gripe about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three yeah. choices I mean, we have we have this foot pedal that, that's yeah. salt water oh that's right? nice Raw you know, yep. but uh Very yeah, cool. i could switch you know i don't know And topside, the boat was just immaculate. A 1939 schooner really brought back to life by Seth and his crew. No, no, no. Seven? Seven sails at once you can fly? Oh, yeah, we can easily. And then anything else? Anything That's else? That's so cool. Just a little cherry, on top. little cherry, Jimmy Green. I've never heard of that. Oh, Jimmy I'll be googling Green. that. Jimmy Green's a lot of fun. It hangs <laughs> under your bowsprit. It's yeah. got a little yard. And it's just a tiny little square sail. But the very best part about this tour is you not only get to see her at the dock, but you get to see her out stretching her legs in the water on a sunset sail with when and if.
In my camera. <laughs> I was standing and you in front right. of it. <laughs> Man, I had put it there just inadvertently too. I, I ruined the whole trip. <laughs> I said, go out again. We gotta do it again. We gotta go, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back out. That was huge though. We both saw it. It was a big stingray. <laughs>